guys, Helping Hands here. This is my third ever video log, and uh, as you can see, we're in a new location um, since last time, and uh, we're now in Scotland. Um, so I, I moved, I've been, it's been, probably been about six or seven weeks now since I've moved from England to Scotland, uh, from Brighton to outside Aberdeen, and um, yeah, it's been great. Uh, as you can see, the room's changed. We've got, um, you know, we've got really cool background here. We've got this nice, really cool wraparound company here. Some artwork that I got from PC Game Weekend, and we've got the three allied flags up there and if I turn around to the right you can see the Axis flags as well Wehrmacht, the Italian flag and the Japanese flag just out of view there in the corner behind we've now got our sub flag pinned to the wall with all the names on it which is really cool and uh, so yeah we've moved and I've been a lot happier since I've moved to Scotland uh, it's been really nice um, you know living with my family again after sort of the you know a couple of years it's just nice and it's just so much less stress you know before I end, I was living with my uncle for a couple of years and it was, it, you know, I don't, our personalities clash quite a lot and um, that didn't make for the best of living situations. So now that I've moved, it's, um, you know, it's, it's a lot, it's like, you know, I feel a lot, you know, less stressed and everything, which is what I really needed. Um, and if you notice, we've, we're trying to pump out the YouTube content a lot lately now. I've been doing a 4v4 tournament, um, the my first ever 4v4 tournament that I've casted. Um, we just did we did a whole eight game series on last Saturday. That was the quarterfinals and semifinals, and my voice oh, it was, almost, it was almost gone by the end of it. But it's been really enjoyable. Uh, big props again for Kurahit um, for refing that tournament and any any other refs that we're doing as well. And a big shout out to the guys that sponsored the tournament, which is the Task Force Bravo guys as uh, clan. Go check them out if you want. Uh, they, they play a lot of company heroes too and that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, also next month. Very soon is TwitchCon in Berlin. So if any of you guys are in Berlin and want to hang out, please come there. I will be more than happy to meet you with you guys and have a drink and chill out and talk whatever. whatever. Should be good fun. Um, can't wait. It's my first ever Twitch, uh, Twitch Con event. So I've never been able, not been able to go to the ones in America because it's just too expensive. But the fact this one is in Berlin, which is amazing. So that's been great. Uh, and one other thing I want to talk about is the fact there's a Company of Heroes board game that was recently announced and it will be on Kickstarter soon. Uh, I've been in talks with developers for that and uh, they seem really eager to get me on board uh, even to go so far as to possibly um, talk about roles where I'd be giving them advice and feedback for the game itself with my expertise and maybe even becoming a figurehead or like a you know poster boy for the game itself which I would be honoured frankly to, to, to be able to do something like that so that's really cool so hopefully you'll see some more news about that in the near future. But yeah, so again with more, the, with more the YouTube content I've actually bought some books on YouTube and branding uh, one book called Primal Branding. I know um, there's a comment in chat. Uh, one guy was saying that I should, you know, read some books on the you know on, on the subject of YouTube and that kind of thing. And I think that's a good good piece of advice. And I've done so. So I've got those books and I'm gonna be reading them. So for as of other content that we're going to be streaming in the near future, uh, well, currently let's talk about what we're currently doing. We're we're playing Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. Um, I haven't uploaded any video footage for that game on YouTube yet. Um, I just don't know. I, I probably will do and just test the waters to see what people, you know, see what the response is. Because I've uploaded some other content recently and it doesn't hardly get any views compared to what my co-content normally gets, which is understandable. But I'd like to try and branch out a bit with my with other content. I kind of want to want to be known as the strategy guy, the RTS strategy guy, um, rather than just the company heroes guy. To be honest with you guys, that's that's kind of my goal here. Um, but yeah, so. So, Battlefield Gothic Armada 2, uh, I still want to play Wargroove, which is a spiritual successor to Advanced Wars, if any of you guys played that on the Nintendo back in the day. Um, Metro Exodus, we're still playing, uh, we're about half, over halfway playing through that game now, really enjoying it. Um, do check out that Spider Scare video that I uploaded if you want to go, you know, if you want to have a laugh. I'm absolutely scared, I'm terrified of spiders and uh, you know, you will laugh at that video for sure. There's not really much else I could think, I'm just going to keep playing Co as usual, you know, I'm starting to do 1v1s again and people are enjoying that which is good. Um, so we had some really good games against Nagano yesterday, I won one, he won one, but both games were very close so you know, it's kind of nice to have a have, have some have a good challenge now and, now and again. Oh yeah, we've got Sunstrike 4 to keep playing. We're enjoying that game quite a lot. Um, Iron Harvest, still waiting. Um, it's a bit slow on the Iron Harvest front. Um, I've given some developers some feedback on that game uh, where I didn't like the way their infantry played. You know, the infantry combat felt weird to me where the, you know, they'd see a weapon on the ground, they'd pick the weapon up, they'd hold their uniforms changed, and they'd become the other, uh, that new squad. Just didn't really click with me. I prefer kind of 
the company of heroes way where if you find a weapon on the ground the squad picks it up but they still stay the original squad they don't change their uniform or anything they just gain the weapon like the like a shrek or, or a bar or whatever you know um so yeah I, I told them that you know my my thoughts on that and they listened to it and and uh or we'll just wait and see if they decide to change change it but um they do they did listen to my feedback had a private call with them about that um I did try Hearts of Iron 4 recently and I didn't like it I'm afraid guys. I know a lot of people have been wanting me to play it and I just tried it and it was so overwhelming. You know, it's just, I didn't, it just felt really slow and overcomplicated. Um, and it didn't really, I, I like kind of seeing action in real time and it was just, you know, I, I've tried other grand strategy games as well. And again, it's just, I don't think it's like my cup of tea I'm afraid. It's a shame because I hear, I hear we'll keep hearing how many people say it's great, but it's just I don't know. It's for me. It's like Civ, Civilization as well. I just don't like the whole hexagon playstyle of that game. You know, it just doesn't feel right. Uh, I don't know. It's just not for me. Um, Foxhole. Uh, we haven't played much Foxhole lately. Um, reason being is because I'm just waiting for a good update. Um, devs have done another update recently, which has some cool relic vehicles into the game. Not relic entertainment vehicles, but relics as in like relics of the old war, which is cool. They've got like a really cool armored car, but like an armored tank rather now, which takes a lot of damage. And they've got like um, like a really heavy light tank, or whatever that makes sense. Like you know, it's very strong, but it's still a light tank, but just very strong with a lot of armor value. Um, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, and we got recently um, added scene transitions to to our stream. So for those of you who haven't seen yet, as you can see, if I switch the scenes now, you'll see a flag across the screen. So we've got obviously Germany there. Um, we try and go back over here and then we've got the Soviet flag, like so. And then we've got the British flag. And then finally, the USA flag, Stars and Stripes, there you go. So we've added that to the channel now, which I think that makes the um, the stream a little, a little more professional, looks cooler. Because I, I've always had, I've always wanted to do this for a while now, and because I, I, ever since watching uh, I think Doctor Disrespect, I saw his scene transitions with like a wall closing in, and I thought, damn, that looks really cool and professional. I want to do something similar. So now we've got our own flag transitions. I actually got the, got them for free from Stream Elements. Actually, those guys. So for those of you who also are Twitch streamers, there's a couple of softwares. Um, that you can use to, you know, when you see that flash up on the screen for someone subscribing or donating, that kind of thing. Um, there's a couple of programs, and one of them was Stream uh, Labs, and the other one is Stream Elements. And we recently we made the transition from Stream Labs to Stream Elements, and that in in and the reward for that was for them to make that artwork for me, that that scene transitions, which was really cool. I was really impressed by their work. I, I told them I, I was actually really skeptical if they could put it off, and they did a really good job of it. Though I was that's another point I want to talk about. As you saw with the German flag just then, it is the Nazi Germany flag, and um, I've had quite a few people have a go at me for saying, "Hands, are you a Nazi? Are you um, a fascist? Do you do you support the Nazis and all that kind of stuff?" Now, you know, people are being really offended all over it. And if you've watched me, you know, if you watch my channel for long, you know, for even five minutes, you'll know that I'm nothing like that. I'm not a Nazi. I do not, you know, support fascism or anything like that. Every, you know, the Nazi, Nazis were incredibly horrible people. And, you know, it was a horrible time and period. But what I do like is historical accuracy, okay? That's the, literally the only reason why I have it on. And it is, and that's why I, why, why I have the Nazi flag being used here. Because we're playing a World War II game. And that's what I like, you know? It's, you know, I find it absolutely horrible that the fact that EA recently, you know, hasn't even put a single World War II German flag in Battlefield 5. They've, they, they used World War I flags, for Christ's sake. It's terrible. You know, I feel like it's even more offensive not to use it, to say, to say oh, it didn't, it's like, it's like oh, no, no flag, oh, it didn't happen, kind of thing. So I think it's even more offensive not to use it, in my opinion. But anyway, I'm, I'm all for historical accuracy. I like to, I like to play things historically accurate. Um, and that is why I will use it, and I will not cower or bow down to the stupid, the stupid system, which is, you know, political correctness gone mad. That is literally the definition of it at the moment. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just silly. And, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm just going to be who I am and I like my historical accuracy. Okay. So that's why, that's literally the only reason why I'm using it. Historical accuracy. Hey guys, thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you want more content, be sure to check out this video probably here and up here. And if you want to subscribe, there's the button to do so about here, hopefully. And uh, make sure to click the notification bell somewhere down here um, so that whenever I post new content, you're notified. Again, thanks for watching and have a nice day, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.